What's up guys, welcome back to Kev's Prehistoric Reviews, where we'll be reviewing the Megatherium. Before I begin, I just want to give you guys a, a notice of the uh, sculptor who has made this fantastic model. His name is J. Miguel Aparacio, and his website is signatostudio.com, where you can find all his models. Uh, also where I got the woolly mammoth that's in the background. He has always been um, passionate about all his scopes. He's been doing this since he was a kid. And uh, yeah, I'll have a, the link in the descri description down below where you can pick this guy up as well as the woolly mammoth and whichever other models he has in stock. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the model. Uh, keep in mind it's a 120th scale model. So we'll start here at the face. As you can see already, it's a really amazing scope and all the detail is just truly mind blowing. There's so many shades of dark browns, light browns. It almost looks like it's been whitewashed with uh, some light grays up on the top here. You got some light grays, light brown, transitioning to a darker brown around. The jaw here below the eye, nicely sculpted ear. You can really tell the the jaw structure very well, even with all the fur. The fur looks very realistic too. As you can see, the eye. I'm gonna try to focus on that. Truly amazing. You can just see the brown pupil, and just even the eye. It's itself is just sculpted out very amazing as we look at the front of the figure you can see the nostril very sculpted out well the tongue also is sculpted out really great has like a grayish or a brownish type of color to it um turning it around this way you get another view of the head and just at all the detail that there is here. This is uh, modeled after an image um, that is used for the Megatherium. Um, and I'll be sure to include that right now. Also, let's take a look at the back of it. Let's look at the neck. You can just see how many, how much detail there is here. Oh, the musculature of the animal. You can see the neck. You can see where the shoulder blade and the shoulder and the arm begin perfectly here. It transitions down here. Pretty much you got the same color of like light brown here as well as up up on the neck. And as you go down, you can just see all this detail here. Look at all the fur, it's really amazing. You can see here you got dark brown for the fur where it's being covered. Here's the chest area. Really amazing. You can see all those dark browns there in the crevices. The outline here of the of the stomach. Perfectly colored. It's a dark brown. And then you have the claws themselves. I'm trying to get some good light on that. Painted very realistically. They're even sharp too. Um, let's keep down, going down. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but all this is amazing detail. This is supposed to be some uh, musculature structure, or it could be part of the leg, which I doubt, but maybe it could be part of the hip, but it's very noticeable and it's just really mind blowing. You have some darker browns here and the same type of light brown that follows throughout the whole body. As you can see, let me just go back a little bit. Look at all that detail that there is here. Really amazing figure. Turning it around, you can just see what I'm talking about. See if I can get some light on that. Here is where I was talking about the hip bone maybe. Oh, the spine here is very well outlined. You got the shoulder uh, blades pursuing out. The stomach, you can tell, is a very well-fed megatherium. As you turn it around, you can see the tail. 
is also uh, same type of color. As we turn it around, and you can just see the hip bone here and the leg. Pretty much following the same uh, color scheme for the entire body with that light brown. Only it gets dark, uh, like where the crevices are and all that. Here are the claws. You can see there's even amazing detail there. Really amazing. For a size comparison, for a length, he's around the six inches mark, counting where the tail begins all the way up to where his tongue ends. For a height, you're looking at around seven and three quarters. Keep in mind that this is a 120th scale. For a size comparison, here is the Megatherium standing right next to the 120th scale. Woolly Mammoth that I had already previously reviewed on my channel. If you had not seen that, please check out my channel. I have a review on him and on him. For another comparison, here is the Paracetatherium from iToy that came out uh, last year, also in uh, 120th scale. As you can see, maybe that's what they would actually be in real life, considering that Megatherium was around 20 feet in height. And lastly, here's the Papo T-Rex. As you can see, Megatherium pretty much towers over the Papo T-Rex. In case you guys actually own this uh, model, by Safari LTD, here is how he compares next to the Megatherium. So yeah, I mean, I highly recommend this figure. And that is it for the review. Again, I will have the description down below where you can pick this guy up. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below, like, share, and uh, subscribe. And I will continue with all these reviews. Thank you.